Peace everyone, Unmaskart here and welcome back to the Drawing Journal. Uh, today I am just going to continue working on this pastel portrait that I've been playing around with for the past few Drawing Journals. Um, no real, like, reason other than I just want some practice and I, I've been having fun with it. As you can see, I, I worked on it a little bit uh, since uh, last week. I finished the side of the face and came down to the chin, uh, and the reason is because I'm going to do the lips today for the live stream, and I figured mm, might as well have uh, the skin around the lips done before I start doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, hello Aiden, Sneaks, uh, Wendy, Steve, uh, Gihan, thank you guys so much for coming by the live stream. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into coloring this. I don't really have anything to announce or anything like that. Um, tomorrow I am going to be streaming. I already made the event over on Facebook and scheduled a live stream here on YouTube. Uh, part two of our Grey Wolf and Pastel tutorial, uh, that will be tomorrow. Uh, so I have that scheduled out, so make sure you don't miss that. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just get into this. I'm also... I'm also to the point where I'm going to do the eyelashes, so I'm going to wait till the end to do the eyelashes. Don't let me forget, uh, okay? Don't let me forget. Um, oh, hello, Gracie. Good to see you. Um, uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and start on the lips. I'm going to do the teeth, uh, the uh, open part of the mouth first, and just looking for which color I want to use. Oh, I think I'm going to use this. Dark brown, this is a 640. And I'm just going to start in here. I don't really have much of a story uh, for for today's live stream, so if you guys have any questions, um, I would uh, strongly urge you to start asking them <laughs> so that the live stream has uh, some content. Uh, I did finally find myself over at the, the new mall that they built here, not too far away from where my uh, uh, flat is at, and uh, they, f they finished it while I was visiting America with my family, and uh, we got to, go for, got to go to it for the first time on Friday. Uh, it was... A pretty underwhelming. Uh, it, it appears to be so much bigger than what it actually is because there's a movie theater and a bowling alley inside of it and the that takes up like the entire center. Uh, so when you look at it you have this huge like five level of parking uh, and then you when you go into the mall it's just kind of like this uh, backwards J shape and that's it as far as like stores and stuff and then like the movie theater and the bowling alley take up the entire center part of the mall uh, so it's from the outside it looks ginormous from the inside you realize oh this this actually isn't all that big <clears throat> oh hello uh, Katrine and Maximiliano, hopefully I pronounced that correct. Uh, have I ever used the Derwent pastel pencils and what's your opinion? Uh, that's actually a great question. Uh, the answer is that I have not, but they are actually uh, on their way. I, I just ordered the Derwent pastel pencils. Um, I have, so I'm gonna have the uh, Carbothellos, I'm going to have the Derwent, I'm going to have the Faber-Castell Pit pencils, uh, and then um, it's on back order, so I don't know when it's going to get here, but I'm also going to get the set of the Karen Dash pastel pencils. So I'm going to have all like the main sets of the pastel pencils, um, and I intend on doing a full review video com slash comparison of all the pencils so that um, that exists on YouTube, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, I'm new, so what am I drawing? Uh, I hope I, I hope that I'm drawing it well enough for you to discern what my picture here is that I'm drawing. 
Uh, I'm just doing I'm just doing a portrait practice. Uh, I've never done a full scale uh, pastel portrait before, and this is just me uh, playing around, uh, testing out my uh, blending ability with the pastel pencils. Oh, hello, Chrissy. Um, where, uh, so I, I, oh wait, are you asking me where I live? Because I live in Poland. Oh, hello, Ko. Um, yeah, it's, it's partially sneaks my, uh, you know, my holiday art haul, I guess. Uh, I've gotten a few, I've, I've gotten a few things, a few other things coming, I don't even remember, but the, uh. Karen Dash pastel pencils were on back order, and I was like, oh, gosh. It, it, it saved me from having to spend the, the $700 or 700 pounds uh, all at once, but uh, yeah. I'm getting a little sidetracked here, so let me try to uh, pick up a pencil and start coloring again, looking for a color. And do some sharpening. Oh, hello, Barbara. Good to see you. And Lily. Good, good afternoon. I'm going to sharpen this pencil here real quick. Um, just so I have a little bit finer tip. I've been uh, thinking of getting some larger sheets of, of pastel mat uh, and doing a slightly larger pastel painting. Uh, what I would do, I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to chime in. Uh, but uh, just doing like a large scale pastel painting sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I've never really done anything all that all that big with pastels, um, so I thought it'd be kind of a fun project. And I was also thinking about doing a like a daily stream maybe not daily but like five days a week where I would just work on the the large scale drawing uh, each day on the live stream and I would just you know I just keep keep working on it um, I don't know why the idea of, of a uh, like a daily live stream challenge it's not much of a challenge if it's just you know working on a, a singular project but um, you know I really I really enjoyed the the daily streams and uh, wouldn't mind doing another one here soon uh, a waterfall landscape yeah not a good one Wendy <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I've used purple in the shadows on my latest drawing. Works awesome. I'm struggling with the hair as usual, and I suspect I need to make shadows darker. Uh, well, I you know what? I should do... Well, let's see. Um, this portrait that I'm working on, she doesn't have much hair uh, showing, uh, so it probably wouldn't make for the best tutorial uh, imaginable for um, for a hair tutorial. But uh, I, I can say that uh, you can simplify hair a lot. Uh, Rob, I, I, I should know this, but I don't. Um, are you over on Patreon? Are, are you a patron over on Patreon? Because if you are, I have, I have four tutorials over there that are just hair. Um, and they might give you, if you go back and watch them, they're, they're slightly older. But if you go back and watch them, you might get some uh, new insight, new strategy for your hair if you need it. So just a, just a thought there. I did um I did it I did the hair tutorials quite some time ago, so you, you might have to go back a little ways, but you should be able to search them uh, through Patreon. Uh, 
Oh, uh, hello, Alicia. I didn't see you come in. Glad you came to the live stream, and I am glad that you like my drawing so far. It's been it's been a fun project. Uh, since when have I been using pastels? Uh, I've been uh, less than two years. This um, this coming March, I think. I think this coming March will be two years I've been using pastels, so not for very long. Uh, yeah, Rob, you should definitely uh, definitely hop over on the Patreon train. Um, you know, I have, I was just checking the other day, I have somewhere around 150 tutorials. Each of the tutorials are like minimum an hour long, sometimes even longer. But I have over, you know, well over 100 tutorials. And for $5, uh, even if you just stick around for one month, you get access to all those tutorials. So um, I think it's a pretty good deal, if I can say that to myself. Oh, hello, Leontine. Thank you so much for the congratulations. Yes, uh, for those of you that uh, may have missed it, uh, I, I reached 50,000 subscribers over the weekend. That was, that was kind of exciting. Um, halfway to 100,000, and I'm actually, I'm already, I'm already getting real close to 51,000, so uh, the subscriber count is is definitely growing uh, very, very quickly. It's been it's been a very long journey, but uh, it's been an enjoyable one for sure. Before you know it, I'll be at a hundred thousand, and then who knows where else? You know, um, when last year around this time, last year around this time was when, oh goodness, I was just over, I was I was just over maybe ten thousand, I think this uh, this time this uh, this time last year, um, maybe not quite fifteen thousand. Trying to remember. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I don't even think I had 10,000. Hmm. Somebody will have to look that up for me, but I know that actually, yeah, I think I hit 10,000 back in July because I did the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I think so. I think. I could be wrong. I could be misremembering, but uh, it's, it's, it's rather difficult to keep track of. But I know it's it's been growing fast, and it's been uh, it's been really quite overwhelming. Uh, all the support that you guys give me, I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, do I have a preference for pencil extenders? No, I do not. I literally get the cheapest ones. Um, I got these really super cheap wooden ones. I think I got a pack of like 10 or something ridiculous um, for like $3 off Amazon. And uh, the thing, like they're a little wobbly. They're not super tight or anything. They don't even actually hold the pencil all that well. But you know what? I can hold on to them. I hold on to the pencil. They work perfectly fine. Uh, that's all I need them for. I don't need them to be like high tech or super, super tight against the pencil or anything like that. So they work for me. Um, and, you know, they might, they might work for a few of you as well. Uh, to, to give you some, to give you some uh, analytical 
analytics to to my channel recently. Um, so at the beginning of like around February of this year, uh, I started gaining about three thousand people, uh, three thousand subscribers uh, each month, and it's it's consistently been around that for the entire year of 2018. Uh, for the past couple months, it dropped down below 3,000. It was still like 25 to 3,000, somewhere around there. Uh, then this past month, this past month, it uh, bounced back up uh, to a little over 3,000 uh, per month. And while I was on vacation, I think I mentioned this last week, but while I was on vacation, uh, one of my live pastel tutorials uh, got like a quarter of a million views. And I was checking out the analytics of my channel yesterday because I was talking to Anna about them. And uh, the average the average view duration uh, for that one live stream was an hour long. <laughs> And I couldn't believe it because that's that is that is a substantial amount of time. Uh, we're we're talking a quarter of a million. I'm assuming. Let let's let's be conservative here and say that it wasn't a quarter of a million peop, different people that viewed that live stream, but let's say it had to have been at least a hundred thousand, right? So that was a hundred thousand people, and the average person watched an hour of that two hour live stream. So they watched half of it, right? That's so much time. That's so much time. That's a hundred thousand people basically coming to watch a movie that I created, but you know, it's not a movie. It's just a video. And, um, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal because YouTube cares more about the amount of time uh, people watch of a video as opposed to how many people watch the video. I, I explained this before, but um, it's much more important uh, for a video to get a, a long view duration than it is for a video to get a lot of views. And uh, it, it was quite shocking to see how much of that video people were actually watching. So it was, it was uh, quite surprising. Okay, so I've reached 10,000 in July of last year. Okay, okay. Thank you, Godboard. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, the... Uh, the uh, watch time, yeah, I, it was something that I learned last year, I think, or I don't know, something like that. But uh, when they when they added watch time to the analytics is when I started picking up on the importance of it, as opposed to views. Because, you know, everybody was all, all about views and stuff and on YouTube, but... Uh, they're not they're not nearly as important as time watched and I'm pretty much crushing that department because uh, the average view duration for my channel entirely which uh, this is actually something that I came across a couple weeks ago uh, and it totally blew me away but the average view duration for my channel overall is uh, like 32 minutes so the the average time a person spends watching any of my videos is 32 minutes. And I was like, that is a ridiculous amount of time. That's, that's a long, I mean, that's a TV episode of somebody's favorite show. And I was like, that's, that's an impressive view duration. And, uh, I was quite, I was quite uh, pleased with that number. And, uh, hopefully Hopefully I can keep you guys entertained uh, that entire that entire time. Uh, 
uh, can you tell us which live stream it is? Oh, I, didn't I mention it's the um, it's the Fox. Okay, the Fox Pastel tutorial that I don't remember when I did because I have a terrible time with remembering dates, as Garbord uh, pointed out, uh, with the uh, huge discrepancy in when I, when I thought I had 10,000 subscribers. But uh, like like he mentioned, I started out um, I started out this year with fifteen thousand subscribers, and I'm going to end it with right around fifty four. I'm guessing close to fifty four, uh, possibly. Um, so that's that's a huge that's a huge um, growth spurt for the year, uh, fifteen thousand to fifty five ish thousand. I certainly didn't think that I'd be getting here. I didn't. I didn't think I'd be here. But, uh, but here we are. You know, I had I had this uh, this uh, thought the other day, and I was thinking like, oh, you know, in a one or two year time span, I'll have, you know, I'll be one of those channels. I'll be one of those channels that has like over a hundred thousand. And when I have live streams, you know, the, the, the chat will just be like scrolling by faster than any human can read. And I, th I thought about it and I was like, man, I really hope that that doesn't happen. <laughs> I, I was thinking like, you know, I, I, I remember I remember my subscribers. I, I I remember you guys. You guys know me, and um, my favorite part about the drawing journal is just being able to sit here and draw and just hang out and do whatever and have a laugh, uh, tell a story, and interact with you guys. And I, I I just I don't look forward. I don't look forward to that that potential outcome where the the live streams just get so busy that I can't follow the chat because right now it's right now it's starting to speed up sometimes where uh, I miss things and I, I can't keep up with it but eventually I'll probably have to assign one of you lovely people as a moderator <laughs> so that you can get my attention on the uh, on the live live streams so I don't miss the questions and, and stuff like that because you know I don't I don't like to miss the questions I don't want to miss the questions oh thank you guys thank you Lily Thank you, Chrissy. I'd be a, di a great director for a painting movie. <laughs> uh, I, I've, I've considered uh, doing some like short, short films or something like that. I really like making videos, um, and I like well, I like being behind the camera. I like. I like establishing the shots and like, so directing basically, but I also like to be hands-on, so I'd have to be a director plus the cameraman, or at least one of the cameramen. Uh, then you'd have to hire a comment reader, just like Aaron. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to, I'd have, to have a comment reader. Well, um, I'll, I'll tell you what my plans are for this, this coming year. Uh, I, I really want, I, I really, really, really want uh, Anna and I to buy a house, and when when we do finally buy the house, uh, I would like. Well, it's it's not a like; it's what I intend to do, but um, I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up a legitimate studio in in our new house when we get it, and. Uh, hopefully, I told her that 
if if things keep going the way that they're going uh, in 2019, so if 2019 is as good as 2018 is, then she might not have to work at the end of 2019. And that's that would be like my goal. My goal would be to have uh, my wife online with... Uh, with like helping me run the channel and my art stuff and um i told her that most likely i'd i'd start doing prints i'd start getting prints made of of my artwork and stuff and uh she would be in charge of like running the website and doing all of the shipping and uh print stuff and that's what that's what she could be doing instead of instead of working for um the business that she works for now uh, not to say that you know she doesn't like working for that business it's just uh it'd be much cooler to have her around more and we could just uh run my youtube channel and do what we want Yeah, uh, having somebody in my ear would be would be kind of nice. Yeah, 2019, it is going to be a good year. I have no doubt. As long as I have you guys, uh, no year could be a, a bad year. So. These lips are just coming right to life. I I basically blinked and they look like lips. They're a little bit too bright though. Need to need to tone them down a bit. But I need to sharpen this. I uh, did the Fox tutorial last year, and I've wanted to do it again to see how I compare. Uh, that's that would be good. Yeah, it's always uh, it's always nice to do something over again to see how how you've improved and take your new techniques, your new uh, your new skills, and redo a project and then compare the two. I think that would be a great idea. Uh, if you sold it, that's that's your business, not mine. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, hello, Vegan Mac. Thank you very much. Don't work too hard. Uh, bringing up the, uh, the topic of vegan, anybody, anybody want to participate in Veganuary? Uh, the beginning of 2019 uh, I could probably get some more information on it and share it with you next week but it's been getting more popular over the years and I think I, I might try to uh, convince some of my family to maybe give it a try it's just a a New Year's challenge of being vegan for one month there's a lot of support for it online and stuff, and, you know, you always have my support as well. Maybe I could make it easier for everyone, share some recipes or share some tips. It'd be kind of a, 
a cool cool thing to do for the month. Yeah, I agree. One month isn't too hard. Maybe I'll make it an official challenge on my channel. Okay, Gracie, you take care. Thank you for coming by. Uh, if I if I buy when I buy my new house, am I going to start doing uh, cooking videos? I don't know. You know, I I I always think about doing it. Every time I'm cooking, I'm like, man, I should have just done a video. But uh, my kitchen is just right now. My kitchen is way too small, um, and hopefully the house that. I, Anna and I get into uh, will have a a larger kitchen that would see my kitchen right now is so small that I wouldn't even be able to put um, <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to fit myself and my wife in a single frame of the camera so uh, it's yeah it's not quite uh, video friendly for for cooking stuff just yet uh, but I, th I considered starting a new, uh, a new YouTube channel just for like cooking stuff and, and vegan stuff, because it is it is a passion of mine, as you guys probably uh, have figured out by now. Uh, did I get a chance to view the reference photos? Uh, yes, I did. They are very fantastic, and some of the moderators and myself are going to be organizing some kind of folder where you can put your, where, where everybody can put their reference photos. Um, but uh, yeah, they were, they were very good and I may, I may indeed end up using one or two of them. We'll see. Uh, you are very talented and I'm glad that I found your channel. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, random, uh, you would make a good makeup artist. Uh, thank you. I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I've done my wife's makeup a few times. Uh, it's just like painting, but on a face. Uh, I'm not too good with the eyeliner stuff. I always, I, I, I'm terrible with eyeliner. I never really know how it's supposed to go. Um, especially when like you, you do like the thicker eyeliner and then you like fan it out on the, the end or whatever. I never know what to do. And I never know how to do it on the bottom eyelid. Like, do you put it on the bottom eyelid? Do you not put it on the bottom eyelid? Do you only do half of the bottom eyelid? There's just so many different ways. Um, I can I I will admit I've watched plenty of makeup tutorials on YouTube. Um, not a stranger to them at all. Because uh, it's it's painting just like I said, and uh, sometimes I like to try it. I just make my wife sit down and be like, Hey, I want to do your makeup. Let me let me try this. You know, watch a tutorial. Uh, and then try it. it. It it never never works out all that well. But yeah, I've I've definitely done her uh, her makeup a few times. Uh, it could be a new channel. You grow and double down. Art and food channel. Yeah. Yes, oh goodness, uh, that is one thing for sure that I won't miss once I move is that that drilling neighbor, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so funny that you guys know my neighbor. It's so funny. I, I'm, I'm sorry that you have to know, but uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's been quiet. Maybe the holiday season has him uh, taking a break. I don't. I don't know what what the deal is. Um, polls take their polls take Christmas very very seriously. So perhaps he he decided. You know what? Maybe it's time to just uh, chill out for a little bit and 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 not not drill so much. Uh, how is Poland when it comes to buying houses, being self-employed in Holland? It's so hard. Um, honestly, I wish that I knew because I, I have no idea. Um, 
I, I may have mentioned, I, I know that I mentioned it uh, in one of my other live streams uh, that I am a compulsive saver. Like I, 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 I love saving money, like to the point that it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, might be ridiculous to some, but for me, it, it feels like it's, it feels kind of bad almost. Uh, so I don't, I don't intend to, I, I might get a loan to get the house or I might just pay it. I just might buy it like right then and there. Um, I don't know. I, I told my wife that it's probably best if we just get a loan and then, you know, pay it off in like one or two years or something like that. Because then it'd be easier to, uh, to pay for the new studio setup and all of that stuff. So hopefully, hopefully we'll figure it out. Uh, the, I think, um, I think what, uh, our first step is to find the house. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. Uh, we're going to get a realtor and try to, I don't know, try to figure it out. Right now, there is just no plan whatsoever. It's just, uh, we've been talking about it for some time. I am dedicated to the idea of getting a house because I want to get out of this flat so bad. Um, I mean, I do like living here. I love the view. Um, it's nice and cozy and it's a great location. Uh, but we've, we've gotten to the point where even though we don't have any pets or children, um, we've kind of just outgrown it simply because I work, I work at home. And so hopefully, um, hopefully we'll be able to find something soon and, uh, get, get to it. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Brenda. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying today's live stream, be sure, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like like Brenda said. Uh, did I get hit by snow yet? Oh, you're asking Christine. Uh, well, I'll answer the question anyway. I have not yet seen snow here in Poland. Uh, hopefully soon, though. I'd rather... Uh, my my philosophy with, with cold weather is that I am 100% fine with cold weather if, and only if, it's snowing. Otherwise, I hate it. I... I I love I love the winter. I hate cold weather unless it's snowing. That's that's my uh, that's that's how I feel about uh, winter and cold weather because I absolutely love snow, uh, but I hate coldness. And I feel like when it's snowy and gorgeous out, uh, I don't get cold, or I don't I don't feel as cold as if I would if it was just, well, if it was just cold. Is 
So hopefully we'll get some snow here soon. Uh, I did. I yes, uh, Alicia. I did live in Seattle for some time. Uh, in fact, you can go back in some of my uh, older videos where I my my older drawing journals where I was uh, I wasn't live streaming at the time. I didn't start live streaming until I moved to Poland, but um, where I talk about how much I did not like living in Seattle. <laughs> Uh, that was when I was in school, because I, I graduated from the University of Washington. And I lived, uh, I lived in the U District. I also lived in Everett, which is a couple hours north of uh, Seattle. I uh, got a pretty nice Christmas bonus, so I'm going to order the Rembrandt Soft Pastels and some shades of pastel matte. Oh, that sounds cool. Always nice to spend a bonus on art supplies. Uh, have I tried the Derwent drawing colored pencil? I uh, have not. I, I have no Derwent pencils, unfortunately. I was thinking about getting the uh, the new uh, Derwent colored pencils, but uh, you know I haven't really been doing a lot with colored pencils, and I've I've found that I'm starting to f like want to do more pastel stuff. Like I've kind of. I still love colored pencils, but I have enough colored pencils. Like, I have enough colored pencils. I don't think that I need another brand. Having the Prismacolors, having the Luminance, having the Polychromos, I don't think that I need uh, another set of pencils for, for a good some time uh, because I haven't really been using colored pencils much lately and... Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I think, uh, I think I'm just leaning more towards pastels at this point. Really, really yeah, have been enjoying using pastels, and uh, I'll probably just focus a little bit more on, on pastels for the future. Um, kind of... I've been really enjoying the live streams, doing the live tutorials, the, the pastel tutorials. They're a lot of fun. I like the speed. Um, I, can, I can finish a lot more with the, with the pastels much quicker, with a lot less effort as well. Because, you know, I barely have to touch the paper with these, with these pencils here to get, what I, to get the color the way that I want, which is very different than, than colored pencils. Uh, I might... I might be liking colored pencils, or uh, I might be liking pastels more than colored pencils at this point, just because they're they're so much friendlier to use. Now they do have the the, the mild setback of being very delicate, um, but uh, goodness, I I do really enjoy them a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorials that I make with the pastels also. That's that's important. But, uh, you know, you guys have kind of dictated what I do on my channel. And pastels have become... I, uh, yeah, pastels have become the, the popular medium of 2018. And I've just kind of uh, grown into them quite a bit. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody's question. Um, if if you asked a question and it's been some time since I've, you know, answered it or not answered it, uh, you can don't feel like you're spamming if you have to ask it again. I try not to miss them, but you know sometimes I get carried away with my drawing that. Uh, I, I end up missing them and I never see them. Uh, who is the portrait? I have no idea. I don't draw famous people, so you'll never have to really worry about that. 
this is a picture. This is just a random picture. Um, I think from DeviantArt. Uh, I liked it. I liked it because uh, it was mostly just face. It was just the face. She has a little bit of hair that I'll throw in later, but uh, I liked the lighting. I really liked the lighting across the face with the colors and stuff, and that's why I chose this picture. Uh, it's not a famous person. It's just some random model that uh, some somebody took a picture of, and I really liked it. And so I saved the picture, and I was like, oh, I'll just uh, start drawing that with pastels. Because I wanted to do... I needed something. I needed a subject for the drawing journal. Uh, because I always just draw random stuff and do whatever I want for the drawing journal. Most of the time, anyway. And uh, this one just happened to be the picture that I liked. And the picture that I chose. Uh, it's amazing because you only started using pastels in 2017, I think you mean, Barbara. Um, so, you think you are mostly done with colored pencils then? Oh no. No, 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 no. Um, I, if, if you haven't noticed already, I've, I've kind of separated my colored pencil work and my pastel work. Uh, a lot of what I do over on Patreon now is just, uh, colored pencil. And, uh, then I do all the, uh, the pastel stuff here on my channel, which probably is not like the, the best idea of separating those things. I'll probably still do sprinkle in like an exclusive pastel tutorial over on uh, Patreon, but uh, I just think that uh, I just think that I like doing pastels a, a little bit more at this point because mm, it's hard to say because of the reasons I gave earlier, but I'm not done with with colored pencils. Uh, I still I still like colored pencils. I still like to uh, to use them and draw with them and all of that. So they're not going anywhere, I can assure you. I'll still be doing colored pencil work and tutorials and all of that. Uh, do I paint portraits in oil? Yes, I do. Uh, and I'm working on an oil painting. Uh, speaking of which, I, I I got it to fit in the frame that I built. Oh gosh, it looks so good. Uh, it's not even halfway done yet and it looks, it just looks great. I have it, I have it propped up in the frame because I was fitting it this weekend. Um, and it looks fantastic and I'll be painting on it hopefully a little bit this week um, and getting getting some more done on it um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it this year but uh, yeah hopefully 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 <laughs> uh, I know it's difficult as you can't see my reference photo but how do I know what gray to use for cast shadow um, oh you can't tell if it's warm or cold Oh, uh, well, if it's lit by natural light, if it's lit by natural light like the sun, then it's most likely going to be a warmer shadow. Uh, but it depends on the time of year and the time of day. Uh, if you want it to be cooler, just use the cool gray. Uh, if you want it to be warmer, just use the warm gray. You can always tone the shadows too. You know, that doesn't have to be. Um, 
doesn't have to be perfect, you know, from the very beginning. But yeah, that's that's a difficult one to kind of answer without having the the, the picture itself that you are drawing from. So. I think, uh, I think I need to shade her little teeth a little bit more. Too much white on her teeth. Um, pastels are quick, yes. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to, uh, you guys asked a lot um, just a second ago. So, um, uh, that makes sense. If you did colored pencil time lapse, that should be sufficient to get them onto your Patreon pastels for live streams. Makes the most sense. Uh, the secret oil painting. When can we see it? Uh, you can see it when the video itself is done. Uh, trust me, I want to get it done. I, I really, really, really want to get it done. Um, no. No, it is not a portrait of my wife. I will, I will tell you that. <laughs> it is not a portrait of my wife. Alrighty, how long have I been streaming for? I haven't been streaming that long. We can keep going, right? You guys aren't bored yet, are you? If you guys are bored, I'll go ahead and call it a day. If you're not bored, I'm going to continue streaming. And I'm going to move on to a bit more of the face, I think. Just to fill in some more of her skin here. Not bored? Okay, okay. If you guys say so, if you guys say so. I'm glad I'm glad to hear you're not bored. That would be um, a little disappointing. Now you can see how I just uh, scribble in a bit of color here for her skin. Uh, looks like her jaw is coming down about here. This is this is why this is why I love pastels because I'm just I'm just straight up scribbling and. Uh, by the time I'm done here, it will just look like skin. It doesn't even take that much effort. I like to pick out nuggets of knowledge. All right. Well, you got to keep asking questions for that. See if we can hit 10 hours of streaming. Oh goodness. Uh, I think I started just a little bit too late for that record, Co. Uh, I think my record, I I think the I think the longest stream that I've had is six hours. I think. I'd have to go back and check. It was one of the very first streams, like the first or second stream. I was like, uh, I had no idea what I was doing, and I just kept streaming. And, and drawing. I don't even know what I was drawing at the time, but uh, yeah, it was it was a long one. It was a long one. Maybe that's a challenge I should do sometime is see how long. Do, do a 24 hour stream. Would that be ridiculous? Like I wake up, I wake up 
maybe start streaming like an hour or something and I just draw slash paint slash whatever for 24 straight hours. That could be that could be an interesting one. That could be an interesting one. I feel like I'd need a partner in 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 that one. Like two people. Like I I would need I would need something. That would be a tough one. Could be fun though. Could be fun. going back to visit the states um, I should be back um, somewhere around June um, or April like April June somewhere around there something like that uh, I am understanding correctly that patreon is mainly colored pencils and YouTube is pastels yes that is that is the the way it has slightly evolved over the past like six months or so uh, because I really like doing the live pastel tutorials um, on my channel for everybody because it's a great way to bring in new viewers and all of that. Um, and a lot of the, the projects like take longer and things like that I put on Patreon for the colored pencils because I have a lot of people on Patreon that joined Patreon because of the colored pencil work that I did. And I just, uh, I don't think it's wise, or I don't think it would be very wise for me to change that. So, as of now, that's, that's kind of the way that it's started to go. Uh, it might, it might change, and I might just go toward, more towards like a split thing where I, I do a pastel portrait, or I, I do a pastel tutorial, and then I do a colored pencil tutorial, and I kind of switch back and forth. But the thing is, the Patreon live streams, uh, they 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 can take some time to get a single project done uh, because I don't do anything off camera, and colored pencil work just takes longer. So it's yeah, it's it's been been tough to get like the projects done completely or whatnot. gracious uh, 100,000 subscriber reward is a 24-hour stream that's that that's a good one that's a good one uh, do all of your inktober in one day no <laughs> no 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 uh, no <laughs> uh, do an art marathon stream yeah I'd have to come up with something some some kind of project I think would be would be uh, would be good like a large pastel painting. I think 24 hour pastel painting would be a pretty rad challenge. Yeah, let's let's start with the 10 hour 10 hour stream first and then we'll work our way up from there. I like that idea. Uh, I the the I did have one painting project. I had one painting project uh where I painted for 12 straight hours, uh, and it's a video here on, uh, it's, a, it's a time lapse, so, you know, the 12 hours goes by really fast, but I, I painted for 12 straight hours. Uh, could I show you the reference photo? You know, I've tried to do this in the past. Let me... No, I can't. I, I don't want to do anything with OBS because 
I've had it crashed before and I don't want to risk it. I can assure you the reference photo is nothing, nothing that looks all that different than what I'm drawing here. Uh, Wendy and I can come over and do a 24 hour art marathon live stream. Yeah, that would be fun. I'd like that. Hey Cece, good to see ya. Uh, you could do a family stream and run it straight through to those who want to stream. Just press, just pass the torch. Uh, I feel like that's a cop out, though. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that'd be too easy. That'd be too easy. I, I'd have to do the, the whole 24 hours. I'd have to be up the whole time working on a project. <laughs> Hopefully this these pencils are not too um, loud on the paper here. I was one of the many that came to you because of colored pencils. I don't mind other mediums you showcase because that just opens another door of possibilities. Uh, but color pencils still your number one. Yeah, see that's that's the thing. Like I don't want to. Um, uh, a lot of people, you know, they they want more focus on colored pencils, and so uh, I, I I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my patrons that uh, want me to focus on on colored pencils. Maybe I should just have two Patreon accounts. Set up a second Patreon for uh, for pastels. I want to point out that I am using gray. I'm using gray on the skin right now. Uh, and the reason I want to point that out is because sometimes you need gray in the skin, which probably comes off a little counterintuitive. Uh, specifically, this gray is 704, which is just what looks like a warm gray. Just want to Put that information out there so everybody knows. Sometimes you just need to balance out your saturations. Uh, what paper do you use for ink so you don't have feathering on the edge? Um, the, well, the paper that I like is the Strathmore Bristol Plate, if you're, if you're doing ink. Um, but that sketchbook, that Stillman and Burns sketchbook, multimedia sketchbook that uh, I used for Inktober, uh, th that paper is amazing. I don't know if they sell sheets of that paper or not, but uh, what I can say is that paper is amazing for ink. And that's a paper that I could, that I feel comfortable recommending, uh, aside from the Strathmore Bristol Plate. You, that is also a paper I strongly recommend. Um, works very well for inks and markers and colored pencils and just about everything. It's uh, one of my all-time favorite papers. I feel like her jawline is a bit too 
a bit too low here. It's got to go up somewhere, somewhere around here. Um, will you have to inform your neighbor? He also have to be up drilling for 24 hours. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Lily, that's that's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he'll be able to make it. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to make it. I think the biggest hurdle will be convincing my wife. She's probably she's still going to want to sleep, you know. And she sleeps right there. Uh, so it's pretty pretty close proximity. So hopefully, I, I, might, I might have to put off the 24-hour uh, live stream until I have an actual studio uh, in the new house. Uh, does your neighbor drill bits for Christmas? Oh yeah, yeah. I should I should get him some new drill bits. They're probably uh, they're probably pretty pretty dull by this point. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Skin needs a little bit of orange, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. Her cheek can get, uh, what is that called? Um, the heck is that called? Um, what is it when they shape the face? Um, gosh darn it, how do I not know this? How do I not know this? Uh, anyways. When, when they use makeup to, you know, make their face look a different shape. The heck is that called? I, one of you has to know it. Because this isn't blush. That's, um, like the bronzer, I guess. Contour, gosh darn it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. How do you forget the word contour? It's like a, it's like a soft cinnamon color. So it's like orange with a touch of red. Something like that. Take my little sponge brush here and soften it. Mix those colors together. I'm basically doing makeup right now, except on a two-dimensional surface instead of a three-dimensional surface. A little 
bit of highlight by her lip here. White, driving me nuts. Quit turning brown. Your face is shiny. Now stay shiny. <clears throat> uh, the color, this paper color is excellent choice for this portrait. Um, it's it's pretty good. I like that it's not white like I just like that it's not white because and now it has like a background and um, the the highlights look brighter but I think I think I would have preferred something a little bit more brownish uh, but uh, it, it worked well uh, you can I can actually no matter how many layers I put down of this pencil I don't know if you can see it but I can still see the paper coming through. And it, fortunately, it actually does add, it actually does add a little bit to it. Um, I'm not sure if this is the color that I would want. If I had a choice of paper, I probably would have chosen something a little bit leaning towards uh, brown slash uh, reddish, like a, a more red brown, I think um, I would have preferred uh, for, for the portrait, uh, but it does it does look nice still. I like I like that it's not white in the back. Uh, it's a very good drawing. It looks three D. Oh, thank you, Lily. Try to bring out the highlight on the tip of her nose a little bit, a little bit here on her lip, corner of her eye, corner of her eye over here. Um, her forehead needs to be a bit shinier. right in that area. A little bit down here on her chin. There we go. And maybe a little bit here. That actually didn't take too long. Um, I, can, I think I can do the neck. I could probably throw the neck in a little bit. Maybe just uh, add the line here for the neck. Looks like my wife is texting me. Ah, got to pay the bills today. Landlord's on his way over this evening. Huh. I didn't realize what time it was. Uh, perhaps the dark green, dark blue contrasting the skin. That could that could work. Yeah, I like the idea of green for some reason. 
I like the green idea. Uh, how long does it take you to do Anna's makeup? It takes no time at all because my wife does not wear makeup. She she rarely she rarely wears makeup. Um, she will wear makeup. She'll wear like a little bit of uh, a little bit of foundation, tiny bit of foundation, and a tiny bit of blush. That's about it. Uh, and that's like uh, we go out for date night or something. She wants to look nice. But she's not a makeup wearer, which I am perfectly content with because uh, she's perfectly beautiful without it. Honestly, I just think it'd be unfair to everybody else if she did wear more makeup. But I haven't done her makeup. I haven't done her makeup in quite a long time. It's been, it's been a, it's been a while. Like I said, I'm I'm not too good at makeup, actually. So, I uh, use pen pastels as a base. You trying to get me to use pan pastels. I like, I like just using the pencils. I think that uh, they, they get good coverage. They get good coverage. I was just maybe uh, a little lazy on that part of the face, but I think it works. It works. Um, I don't think I need to actually add any more uh, pigment to it. The tiny little tiny 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 little bits of the uh, paper showing through actually lends itself well to the natural skin like texture there now I have a bit of the neck done yay I am going to use this color no no, no, no. Which color? I think I'm going to use this dark blue slash purple. I'm going to move on to the eyelids. Um, Anna is a natural beauty. Yep, I agree 100%. Uh, feel free to pay my bills too, especially the ER visit. <laughs> well, actually... Um, Anna pays the uh, the rent here, and then I pay. The rent includes like all the other stuff, electricity, water, junk, um, and then I pay for literally everything else. Yeah, I I, I make her blush a little bit. I think. I just wondered, as you are detail-oriented or seem to be, and she's lovely and natural anyway. I need to sharpen this because I'm going to do the eyelashes. Uh, that's going to be the, the last thing. So if you guys have any questions, any last questions, now's the time to ask. Because once I put in the eyelashes, I'm going to be done for today. That should be, that should be sharp enough. All right, let's not mess this up, all right? Let's not mess this up. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on this eye over here.
This is me doing eyeliner. Now the top side. Sorry, requires a bit of concentration. Okay, Steve, you take care. Thank you for uh, coming by and hanging out. Grandpa Steve. All right, there we go. There's one eye. Do this one now. This one's a bit softer here because it's in the light. Try not to overdo it. That's the hardest part about getting the eyelashes to look natural is not overdoing them. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. What you guys think of my portrait so far? The new channel, draw the people and draw in the makeup and give beauty tips. That would be, um. That would be fun. That would be fun. Maybe I'll try to do that on my next portrait. Is I'll, I'll find a picture of somebody that's just non-makeup. What do you what do you call a non-makeup up makeup person? Is there a name for that? Um I don't want to say normal person because, well, I think that would be the wrong way to describe it. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, that that's going to be it for today. I, I'm going to keep working on this next week, so, you know, I, I won't do any more. I'll put it away, but uh, I have the eyes done now. Probably still do a little bit more work here, possibly. i got to finish off the neck. Uh, so I think next week, uh, get the ear in, get the rest of the neck in, and then I'll probably be able to finish off, uh, yeah, natural. That's, that's it. Natural. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll probably be able to finish this off next week. Um, I might even pop the, um, the, uh, drawing journal one hour sooner. So instead of 1500 my time, I'll do it 1400. That will give all of you in uh, Australian land to um, a little more chance to, to watch the live stream. I know it's getting late, Chrissy, but you don't sleep anyway. So I'm talking about the other Aussies down there. Uh, and uh, we'll, just, we'll just hang out and I'll finish this for however long it takes. But other than that, thank you guys so much for coming by. Really appreciate it. 
love hanging out with you guys. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow I'm also streaming. I, I, I doubt you'll forget. Um, but anyway, just in case, uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to make it. Other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I don't think so. So that's, that's it. Yeah. Glad you guys liked the live stream. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace.